Hi, this is Pat Finado. Uh, with me here is Osh and Crazy Maya. And we want to show you today a little bit a um, cool idea that we had of uh, remixing one of our tracks and a little bit of uh, how we're going to use um, some new gear we have in the studio to do it. Um, so this is the track. Uh, it's the Ocean Star Empire three dots on the map. Uh, after we made the track, I kind of uh, went over and bounced all the parts really neatly, so it's kind of prepared for a remix pack. So I just exported it to the RAW, and I have all the files I need uh, to remix the track. Um, right now, all I did was load uh, the kick, uh, bass, and um, uh, the snare and the hat channel just to have the beats going uh, underneath. Nothing fancy. What we're going to do is we're going to use uh, the Moog Slim Fatty controlled with the uh, models from the A100 uh, modular along with um, Dope for Dark Energy and the Roland, uh, the Roland SH201 synth. So what is going to happen is we have an extremely simple MIDI line um, that is going to the uh, directly, the notes are going directly to the Moog uh, Slim Fatty. And the Moog Slim Fatty is set up, uh, we just took a random preset, um, messed around with it just a little bit, closed the filter, um, changed it just a little bit around just to get a cool sound if you want. It's going into the scope. Uh, in the scope it's just getting a, a low, low, low pass, uh, sorry, a low cut filter. Uh, just to take away a little bit of the lows before it goes into the delay, uh, in the mix, once it's recorded, it's going to get um, a lot more uh, EQ'd. But uh, just for now, just so that the, the delay doesn't catch on to the extreme low end and start repeating it uh, along with, uh, with the rest of the sound, um, just for that. And then it goes into a delay line, which is simply uh, on the BPM, 1 4th, 1 8th, uh, cross feedback. Uh, pretty, high, pretty high feedback, so it kind of gets, you know, looping and feeding off each other while we play with the um, cutoff and things that you'll see right here. So, uh, the role of the SH201 is really simple here. All it does is um, we're going to use the pitch bend and the modulation. Um, that's going normally via MIDI, you know, as any other controller controlling a uh, pitch of another synth. Uh, the second uh, thing that we're going to have is right here on the back panel of, um, of the Moog Synth Fatty, you can see. It has control inputs. So we, we have connected right here to the filter uh, CD input. We've connected a cable. And if you follow this cable, it's basically it's getting signal from uh, the VCA module of the A100. Um, now this VCA module is, is basically uh, serving us right now as a sort of a control mixer. It's getting one signal from the uh, A100 uh, theremin. And which is basically instead of uh, moving a knob, all it is is as you move your hand, it uh, adjusts the filter, opens and closes it. It's just another way of uh, filter control. Basically, it's just like I said, it's a knob. Only you don't uh, pull the you don't pull the knob around. Um, the other thing that's going to going into the VCA and going to modulate the filter, and this is doing something else right here, is the dark energy uh, LFO. Dark energy is analog as well, and it has uh, outputs for uh, some of its functions. And you can output uh, the first LFO via this uh, connection right here. And um, you can, of course, uh, use it as uh, any other LFO, you know, just to sweep, sort of sweep the filter. But we have it on a, on a high speed right here. And this high speed is basically what it's doing. It's an audio rate. So it's a really, really fast LFO. And it's, uh, the resulting effect of what it does to the filter is provide sort of like a speed crusher effect. But since it's analog, it's really smooth, you know. So you have no crackling and uh, other uh, sounds associated with uh, artifacts associated with uh, bit crushing. If you would do it act actual bit crushing in the digital domain, it just sounds similar, but it's much smoother. So um, we've got it all set up, and uh, we're gonna randomly sort of uh, record, press record uh, over like three and a half minutes of the track. You know, I'm gonna make uh, the loop much longer, and we're going to randomly record, uh, uh, sort of randomly, you know. Uh, record on our knob movements. She's uh, also going to play around with the uh, LFO of the dark energy as well as the filament. And I'm going to be just controlling uh, the recording as well as um, maybe, you know, touching a little bit the modulation and the pitch bend on the SH201. So we're going to do, uh, do all that, record all of that. And then we're going to take just, you know, the best parts. If there's like a cool 30 seconds or a cool minute, all we want is, you know, to get out of these three and a half minutes. We might take the whole thing if it's cool. 
if it's really cool, uh, if it turns out to be a really cool improvisation, then fine, we'll take the whole thing. If not, we'll take like a minute or 30 seconds. Oh, you know, even if you get some cool hits, you can chop it up and make something rhythmic out of it. Um, you'll be surprised how cool the sound is, so we'll get right down to the recording. Let's do it. <laughs> 